Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the third module of Node.js master course. In the third module we are going to cover Node.js with GraphQL. In the second module we covered everything about Node.js with MySQL using SQLize and type ORM. These are two different ORMs we used. We have seen how to define the associations between different MySQL tables, how to do all the different type of operation like create, insert, update, delete, reading data from the multiple SQL tables, defining the associations through the, the schema entities which we are writing with the help of SQLize and type ORM. We talked about doing the migration, seeding the database and syncing, doing a sync whenever you are changing in the entities to the database tables. Okay. In this module, we are going to talk about GraphQL APIs. Till now, we have covered the REST APIs. Now, we will also talk, take a look on to the GraphQL APIs. So first, we will talk about what is GraphQL and how it is different from REST. Okay, we will see the advantage of GraphQL over REST. Both are, bo both are different. Both have their own different set of uh, specifications. REST is best at its own place. GraphQL it has its own advantage and there may be a use case where you want to use GraphQL. There may be a use case where you just stick to the REST APIs. We'll talk about how to create a basic GraphQL server with the Node.js. Using Apollo implementation, we will talk about how to write GraphQL queries, GraphQL mutations. Okay, queries are nothing but which we will use from the GraphQL client to get the data. Mutations whenever you wanted to update something then you will be using GraphQL mutations. So we will be talking about how to create a GraphQL schema which will have a custom type, some predefined types. We will be defining queries and mutations there and GraphQL resolvers where you will define the actual implementation of your GraphQL queries and mutations. Okay. Adding on to that, we will also be using SQLize and type ORM to actually interact with the database. So which we have already discussed in the previous module. Now with the GraphQL queries and mutation, we will be doing a read and update to the data which is there in the MySQL database through these different ORMs. It can be SQLize or it can be type ORM. So it is going to be another interesting module where we are going to talk about advanced stuff, advanced concepts of Node.js with GraphQL. We will be using the Apollo implementation to write GraphQL server. Okay. Thanks everyone. And if you like this whole playlist idea where I'm covering a Node.js master course covering everything uh, about Node.js in different set of modules, please like, share and subscribe my channel.